just been so angry at JR for so long. And, uh, for sleeping with Annie, but also, and maybe even more so, for lying to me about it. And now you're asking me to do the exact same thing. Hey, just wait, just wait, just wait. I know. I know. And I understand your instincts. I will even respect you for them. But you need to stop and think for a minute. What telling JR would do to him, what it would do to all of us. Because deep down, I know that you want your marriage to work. And God knows I still want Annie. And if you tell them what we did, it'll be over. Okay. I wouldn't do this for anyone else. But for you. Hey. I, I thought you were at the office. Oh, I, I didn't tell you. Late business dinner. Something wrong? No, I just, um, I ran into my dad at the hospital, and you know he has a way with words. Thank you for listening. I'm gonna make sure AJ gets these. I'll see you at home. I'll see you. I am so glad you're here. Been anything but the perfect parent. Hell, I wasn't even in her life for most of it. The things Marissa said just. Hey. Good father daughter blowout is part of the territory. I mean, just look at me and my dad. We've had some knockdown, drag out doozies. <laughs> yeah, most recently because of me. Yes, but also because it's just different when you connect with a parent later in life. Like it or not, that complicates things, but I still love him. And even when he hurts me, I find a way to forgive him. What? What'd I say? I know you were talking about Marissa and me, but when I hear words like that, I can't help it. I hope they also apply to us. I hope you worked up an appetite, because I stocked your place with enough food to feed the whole town. You didn't have to do that. I wanted to. Yeah? What about now? What about after, after all this? I'd do it again in a heartbeat. Hey, I just, I just want to say that I, I know it's not easy. I know I'm, I'm not easy. If you change your mind and, and somehow you want out, and... is it just me or did we just cover this? So apparently they're gonna have some big party. Who? Bianca and Caleb. I guess it was in Palmer's will. He requested an end of summer thing. Mm -hmm. And you're telling me this because you want to go? Well, yeah, obviously. I mean, even you have to admit it sounds intriguing. Not even a little. Well, we're not even going to be here anyway, so why are we even talking about it? We're talking about it because you're going stir-crazy on that boat. No, 
yeah, I mean, living with three boys, it's, it's interesting, it's fun. Besides, you, you promised that if we did that, we would grow stronger. And I can't argue with the results. I love you. And I love the life we have. And if that means that I have to make sacrifices, then... I don't want you to make any sacrifices. I don't want you to give anything up. Uh, Zach, I'm not giving anything up. I mean, look at, look at the return on my investment. Stay for the party. What? Stay. You stay here. I gotta go to Europe and do a couple of things. Look at some businesses and, uh... I'll see you after the summer. Okay, wait, are you serious? Are you sure? Even if it wasn't before, I am now that I see your face, yes. Really? Oh my God, Zach, Zach, you have no idea what this means I to me. I have some idea. Okay, um, all right, well then after the party, after the summer. <clears throat> uh, yeah, you know me, I like to keep an open mind, so we'll, uh, Really, you do, since when? I, I'm... Listen, listen, okay, this is exciting. After the party, after the summer, how about I just come running back to you with no clothes on? <laughs> I like that. You do? Yeah, okay. let's do that. Mm -hmm. I like that. Oh, come on, right here. <laughs> hey, oh, okay. easy on that. Kids around. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey, Binks, um, how... Would you like to have your, your big sister around for a little while? Oh, you're staying? Um, not for long, but you never know. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> <laughs>